Brandar knows best. <laughs> so friends, I have made it back safely to Sedanin. The very place that we started. And uh, you'll never guess how I arrived. Yes, indeed by airship. The uh, Nords, while they don't know much about magic, they do have some alchemy experience. And they did allow me to use some levitation ingredients in the sails of this gigantic Dwemer ship. And it actually does take to the skies, surprisingly enough. I thought I would stop by and uh, repay Fargoth what I could after the madness with the Nords. So I, I figure my debt is repaid here. There are some things left undone. Specifically, supposedly, <laughs> illuminating Degoth Ur. But this is not for Brandar to do, I think. And yes, just close enough. Wonderful. So friends, while I am hesitant to bid a fond farewell to this land, I suppose that I have other things on my mind, specifically uh, not shedding the blood of the innocent. I think it is the right move. I cannot be sure, but in my heart I feel that this is the right thing to do. The doors have been opened for me. I did meet uh, the Nords in Thirsk who were able to help me requisition the ship at all so I'm assuming that this is the path that has been laid out before me if I will ever truly meet the expectations of what I hope to be but the best I can do for now is try and if trying involves fleeing from situations that I feel are wrong even if I am indebted to the person who is asking me to do such things I simply cannot. It does It does not seem fair, it does not make sense, and I refuse, simply enough. I've done some bad things in my time. I uh, got in with the Bandari peddlers, as I may have mentioned earlier. Uh, it wasn't all just, you know, cleaning tables and taking inventory. Uh, we did raid a few caravans, I've put a sword to a few people not through a few people, mind you, but I feel some guilt even about that, and this this business with uh, Nasi has just taken its toll, taken a great toll on my heart. Randar has always wanted to make friends and be liked by all, spread happiness. I don't think that this is such a, a bad thing to pursue. But apparently the world wants me to spread chaos, bloodshed, things like this. Does not fit in at all with my view of reality. <sighs> I try to help my friends out as best I can. But I always end up feeling betrayed by my family, by my friends, <laughs> even the Emperor. And I feel the only way I can truly express it is the only way that I know how to express it, and that is through song. So I hope you will listen, friends, to my short reprieve. Please enjoy. Friends, I am fleeing, with work still undone. My thoughts are fleeting, so too, my feet I feel must run. I have threatened some people earned a bit of ire, but never have I made the innocent expire. Whether for friends or whether for greed, less killing in this life is what we all need. Anasi, Abasi, sweet Adhiranir, they stay in the swamp, but also quite near. The friends they've met, sh they shall stay in my heart, but I think that now it's time. I went back to the start, set sail straight onward toward Hammerfell. Should the Emperor find us, it'll be just as well. I'd rather die with my tail held high than spill innocent blood, so Emperor denied. This man would certainly put me to death. He thinks I'm the Neverine, but Brandar knows best. Brandar is a bard, though some say he's not. 
Maybe I just don't fit into your box. This land has shaped me, though I hate to admit it. Let us remember all our old friends for just a minute. Fargoth was the very first friend that we met. I left some gold in his tree stump to repay my debt. And there was little left after all those Nords helped me out. The pickings were slim without any doubt. Each Nord demanded 100 gold and then turned it into mead. What an in investment, for the innkeeper at least. Dreren and Adrael were also quite friendly. If not for their help, I would surely be ended. Mera Milo is an elf that I'd like to know more. To the magic of books, I think she opened the doors. We saw an island of women. We killed loads of scamps. We were assaulted by dark elves and took over their camp. Julia is an Argonian, deep in our debt. Brandar will collect. Someday. Not yet. Caius Cassades is nice, but will be quite upset. Until I give Skuma, then it's forgive and forget. I purged innocent miners under his orders. If you give them an inch, they just want to take over. Brandar's had enough. He will choose his own path. I will live by my rules or I'll die by the axe. My first month in this land was as a berserker, but rejoined with my loot, I became much surer. While I might fight with swords, sometimes learn how to thieve, a jolly cat bard is what I'm destined to be. While I've done my dirt, and a bit of raving, I was mostly there just for the abetting and aiding. I was never meant to go this insanely bad, my innocence blown away, like so many grains of sand. Beating up orcs, finding Arkthand, when all I ever wanted was to be in a band. Turned away by my family and clan who couldn't accept it. No wonder I ended up so crazily reckless. Tombs have their treasures, so I'll spelunk, but what I'm endlessly hunting is an end to this funk. Why do I feel a surging? An endless tiny wrath, pretty soon the weight of which will snap my kitty back. While I feel passionate about my life's path, I often doubt myself. I must look around and ask, is this really what I was meant for? Is this really how it is? What is my real destiny? Is free will just a load of shit? I long for simpler times, for lounging in the sun. Hiding out from my boss until the workday is done? What happened to the child from not long ago? Will my dreams really turn out not to be so? It's hard to stomach, hard to accept. These tests that I took, maybe they weren't merely by chance. Leading me onward towards some greater thing, like a gigantic carrot on an ethereal string? By the nines. Brandar might just be losing it. A bit of skooma might assist me in soothing it. Oh look, a mountain. Icebergs of the sky. If I refuse to change course, I surely will die. Let us test the nature of this true free will. Will the mountain move if we hold true grit and steel? Brandar believes the world will bend. If not, then well, friends, this could be the end. Uh...